Following his revelation that he received nine figures for his diss track of Atiku Abubakar, Charlie Boy Oputa has come under fire. Not just because he received the money, but some people are calling for a look into the action. Did he do wrong by receiving the nine figures? Festus Kiyamo, who reportedly gave him the nine figures, has he done anything wrong? Today on this exclusive, we are looking at the legal angle as well as, you know, all the other angles associated with this conversation. My name is Gloria Oje Emode, and you're watching Roots TV. And of course, I have my legal analyst right here in the studio in the person of Frank Tete. He's a legal expert. Welcome to the show. Thank you. And my pleasure. All right. The first question a lot of people are asking, or some of the comments that people have been making ever since our exclusive on Charlie Boy came out is, has he done something wrong? Has uh, Kayama done something wrong legally from, you know, the authorities? Should they be looking into this matter? You're talking about nine figures. Expressly, there is no criminal liability here on the part of, especially on the part of uh, uh, Charlie Boy. Why do you say so? And, uh, well, it's, uh, he alleges, and uh, uh, on the face of it, he is entitled to sell his intellectual property for any agreed amount. And that is the fact that is in the public domain at this point. And uh, if he claims a certain figure paid by certain persons, it could just be one of those unusual uh, agreements. But I think absolutely by our laws, nothing has been done that is criminally liable on his part. Okay. What about Festus Kiyama? Because he has come out to, of course, debunk the whole allegations claiming that he didn't pay a penny for any diss track or for any track that attacks APC or the PDP. But some people are saying, if such a thing did occur, has he done anything criminally? Hey, look, we have to interrogate the facts. And uh, you also have to compare and contrast uh, these uh, allegations and claims. Now. Charlie Boy talks in very personal terms with regards to Festus Kiyama. And what we hear now is that it's easy for anybody to debunk or deny whatever has happened. But Charlie Boy is quite emphatic, he's quite laid back in his expressions regarding the certain figures that he has uh, collected from Festus Kiyama. And also, there is nothing wrong with that. So long as Festus Kiyamo can you know, um, make claims to his means as to his ability to pay such kind of money. And don't forget, Festus Kiyamo was um, in his official capacity as a spokesperson of the Buhari exactly. campaign organization. Exactly. And so he had access to a lot of money. And actually, he, he is in a position to pay that kind of money. And now, that, so this, is, this is the interesting thing because yes. you just said that the fact that he was um, the spokesperson for the Buhari media organization, that he could have been in access. He could have had access to that kind of money. But according to his tweet, he said the Buhari campaign organization ran a zero budget, that all of the people involved were volunteers. So obviously, from his own words, he really does not have access to that kind of money to make that payment. So if that kind of payment happened, what should be, you know, what should be the focus of the conversation? Well, uh, there are a lot of gimmicks that are employed in terms of political and electioneering campaigns in, in those kind of uh, period. Now, one thing, too, that you must appreciate is that we're dealing with a presidential cam a campaign uh, organization here. Very possibly, uh, monies may have been expended by Festus Kiyamu, not for his personal use, but certainly for the interest of uh, the, the, the campaign that he was running. And uh, even the electoral law specifies clearly that the president is, uh, for a presidential campaign, you are entitled to spend up to one billion Naira. So if mm -hmm. you are spending uh, something in the neighborhood of 100 million for a campaign jingle that you find very useful, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Interesting. And that I, is I, but there is a problem when it raises the presumption that uh, there is an unusual expenditure if you're paying for just one jingle, 100 million. So it only calls for investigation of the entire campaign finances of the presidential campaign of uh, a campaign organization of president buhari i was actually leading to that question because you know they have been a uh conspiracy theories. There have been a lot of talk out there ever since this uh, exclusive came out. And I'm going to put one across to you. And I'll, I just really want to know what you think about this idea. Some people have said the transaction, whether it happened or not, but if it did happen, could have been a ploy for money laundering. Do you see the possibility of that? Uh, very, very possible. And uh, money laundering has... Uh the, the very options for money laundering are not closed. There are very many categories, are very, very many to, to launder money. But I do not also, I also wonder, rather than see it as money laundering, I see it as a way of empowering an old friend. 
Charlie Boy refers to Festus Kenyamo as his boy. His boy. Yes. And uh, for, for a senior advocate of Nigeria in the person of uh, Festus Kenyamo, that should have been the first thing he would have debunked. Uh, he's, he's a very high-ranking uh, uh, member of the Nigerian bar. He should have uh, been, been very offended by the fact that uh, a member of the public is referring to him as, a boy, as his boy. And he didn't address that. And so he went ahead to casually deny the fact that he couldn't have paid money for that. But yes, he couldn't. But you see, that's the interesting thing about it. I'm not trying to break... Well, really, that's what we're doing, analysing it. When you look at his tweets, when you read it carefully, it feels like... He wasn't debunking paying money. He was debunking paying money for a diss track. He would not pay a penny for any song that, you know, that uh, uh, attacks APC or PDP. Now, some people have said, why didn't you just come out and say, I didn't pay any money, period, whatever it is for. But it felt like, like it could be overreaching. But then people are analyzing it from different ways. Certainly, one thing Festus Kiyama cannot deny was that is that there is a relationship that between he and uh, Charlie Boy. And Charlie Boy, look at his body language and the kind of confidence with which he expresses these facts. It also creates a presumption of truth uh, that uh, indeed Festus Kiyama paid that kind of money to him. I, I think uh, Festus Kiyama's um, defense that the Charlie Boy is trying to overrate himself by quoting that kind of figure. All of these are uh, possibilities, but one clear thing is that money exchange hands. You're very Charlie. sure. You believe when you look at, when you watch that video and his response. It is you not about... It, 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 is, it feels evident that is, money exchange hands, but for the reason about, it exchange hands, that's the debate. It is not about that video. It is about the fact that DG Adenyaju raised allegations against Charlie Boy that Charlie Boy didn't deny. Mm. So, indeed, money was paid. The Jardin Andrew and his, uh, and his boys were aware, and they were angry that Charlie Boy collected money. And Charlie Boy said, look, this is business. He didn't deny it. So, that is the subject matter. So, where is the source? What, where and what is the source of that money? It's Versus Kiyamo. And Versus Kiyamo has not sufficiently debunked that. And I think Versus Kiyamo is highly embarrassed that Charlie Boy has, uh, has come up plain about it. But where did this whole thing start from? It was from DJ Adeyoju, who, who appears to be disgruntled with regards to uh, the, 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 the acts of Charlie Boy. Mm, interesting. Okay, b before we round this up, I mean, when you look at the entire scenario, um, you know, we're not trying to make it political or anything, but for some people, this smells just a bit contrary to what um, Festus Kiyamo represents, especially as a spokesperson for a campaign organization that has been run or that has been uh, represented as or pictured as the model of integrity, fight against corruption. And now there is a story of money was paid, money wasn't paid, whether it was paid for a distract or it was just given to a friend. And we're talking about nine figures. How does, how does that look? I mean, look, ugh. but then what does that pretend for? Fight of corrupt, fighting corruption in this country. I, I, I and think, this I think it's, it is unrealistic for anybody to have thought about employing means of integrity in the period of election hiring campaign. Those are times that uh, players fight most dirty, if there's a way I can, if there's a description like that. So you're saying that they employ the, the glory campaign could have just thrown integrity they, out of the no, table no, no, and just gotten they, the they, job they done. They employ unscrupulous means and desperate means in terms of influencing the status quo to ensure that they win elections. And it's not about the man alone, it's about the people, the stakeholders in that, in, in that particular campaign. And so if Festus Kiyamo says that uh, he didn't receive money, yes, I can believe him, but he cannot say that monies were not spent with regards to the uh, electionary campaign of the President Buhari. A lot of money for that matter, billions of naira are presumably spent in a presidential uh, uh, and, uh, and that's campaign. probably where a lot of people feel he opened a can of worms for say, for, to say it was and a zero the budget. Only, the only th way we can find out is by a thorough investigation. And Are you calling uh, for uh, one? Of course, certainly. And one is expected if our institutions are working. Uh, the fact that 100 million naira was paid for a jiggle. Assuming the least in the nine figure transaction is 100 Charlie million. Charlie Boy has not denied it. Charlie Boy is not, uh, is not hallucinating. Charlie Boy is in his finest senses. And so he, and he's happy about the fact that the God, and in his names, in his words, the gov I mean, the campaign, Charlie, I mean, uh, those, the beneficiaries mm -hmm. paid heavy for that amount. Mm -hmm. and, and as such, 
that should trigger some red flag in the in, in, in the institutions, in the anti-corruption institutions like ICBC and the EFCC, if they really are, are sincere. And then they should say, look, look, though they still have I mean, in the next six months or so to prepare their accounts and submit to INEC. But it is important that Festus Kiyama account, Festus Kiyama's account and then the campaign organization's accounts be investigated immediately to see whether they spent more than one billion naira. Because if you're paying for just one jingle, 100 billion for one jingle, it means that they had much more money to spend for the election. And that is illegal in the first place. Somebody should be going to jail or paying serious fine. Interesting. Now you say 100 million. That's the least of a possible nine figures. It yes, could actually yes. be. 999 it could million. just be it could just be <laughs> it could just be a big thank you to you barrister titi for taking our time to talk to us and talk more on this now this is a trending conversation it, for all intents and purposes we will continue to talk about that charlie boy exclusive and in case you're not aware charlie boy has spoken again you go to our roots tv youtube page and see he is threatening more revelations on this matter following festus kiamo's debunking of his claim that he received nine figures for his atiku diss track you've been watching this exclusive right here on roots tv nigeria my name is gloria oj emode